Right, time is now 7 o'clock. I'd like to call this Economic Development Commission meeting to order Thursday, June 20th, 2024. Uh, we start with roll call, so what we do with roll calls, we'll start over here. Let's just say your name and we'll just go around. Terry Tatro. Tom Sinkwitz. June Gagney. Next item, any additions to the agenda? I don't believe there's any. No? Okay. Uh, next item, approval of the minutes from our last meeting, May 17th, 2024. Um, the only thing that was just brought to my attention is that in the minutes it was referencing the meeting from last year, the last time the commission had met uh, last year, and it said August 2024, which would be kind of difficult to. <laughs> have happened, so it should say August of 2023. You're right about that. Okay. Yeah. That was the only thing that was brought right. to my attention, unless anybody else noticed other things with the minutes. Well, it has been April. I think you met in April, right? Mm -hmm. So, it was oh, a reaction to happened. the minutes from... Yeah, because in May we would have voted on April. Yeah. But did we meet, did we meet in April? I think so. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was it. I can check the file. Mm. So I did the minutes for May. So Shannon, maybe you did the minutes for April. Yeah, so okay. April 18th, 2024. Okay. Okay, great. So I'll crush this will make some Besides that, was there anything else that anybody noticed? Any corrections to the minutes? If not, I'd entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve them with those changes. Second, maybe. Okay, I've got a motion and a second to approve the minutes with the correction. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Extensions? Motion carried. Next item, E, public participation. I will say, I was very happy at the last meeting that they had a business present in the, in the that room. Was that, that was pretty cool. I did think to myself, that maybe, maybe in the future what we can do is try to invite, do like an individual ask, or invite a business to a meeting. Because even though it's always posted on the calendar, you know, I don't know, a lot of people just don't tend to come naturally to it, but maybe if they get a personal invite, consider coming just to listen to the meeting and let us know about their business. I love that idea. That's one thought. Uh, moving on to reports. Yeah. Okay, so I gave everyone the EDC newsletter. Um, current applications, a lot of them have the same we did add in uh, the Lowe's Hometown Heroes, which will come from Lowe's and they'll send Lowe's employees out. It was approximately $5,000 and it'll be for kind of like local beautification projects. Um, we haven't decided on a project yet. We're reaching out to local organizations to see what projects they have pending to see if we can help them in any way. Um, also, the Recreational Trails Grant. We received $52,000 for that. That is for the open space for Cape Downing, and that is for the design phase of it. Um, and then I also listed just current projects that we're working on. So we have our intro road CD grant the Eastern Regional Tourism District Grant, that's our Explore Clean Field brochures. We are closing out our mentor grant, which is like a three year long grant, so we just finalized all of that. We are starting our after school grant. Um, we have the Lions Park Steep Grant that we're still working on. The Plainfield Pavilion, still in early stages. Um, Shepherd Hill Sidewalks, also in early stages. The Cape Downing Open Space, and then the Recreation Master Plan. Those are all kind of in the very, very beginning. Uh, one question I had on the mm -hmm. recreation master plan: Is there like a uh, an actual document, like copy, uh, that's available for that plan? Um, so we don't have anything yet. But <coughs> all we have is the application, and what that um, master plan will look at is all recreational spaces that are owned by the town, okay. and they'll kind of just do you an know, overview plan for the future of all of those, what's recommended, and kind of how to get the most benefit from each space. Okay. So just officially award that, and then the state just signed off on it, I think maybe a couple weeks ago. So they haven't given us an official signed document yet. Once we get that, then we can take all the next steps and include everyone on that. 
Um, I'll skip past that because we'll go to that next. Um, on the back of it, it's still the same economic development plans that I had last time, so kind of where I plan to focus on grants, um, community outreach, and business outreach. So if there's ever anything people want to add to that, we definitely can. How's the Plainfield Pavilion project going? Um, it's going. <laughs> um, right now we are at the oh. stage. Oh, yeah. yeah. So why don't you start off, I'll finish. Okay, so it's, um, we're still in early stages with the state. Um, they have to approve everything we send out. So they're, we have a rough design of kind of the bid to go out. They just haven't approved it yet. So we keep reaching out to see if they have. Um, it's currently in another team, and once they get that. Another team? Like another state team. <laughs> so oh. ECD oh. has it. And they then, go over for a while? Well, no, so they, they can do. They control what we can and can't say in the bid documents. There has to be certain language okay. within it. So we did all the kind of preliminary steps of it. We sent it out to the state organization, then they send it out to their team, mm -hmm. and then they send it back to us for any corrections or they give us the okay to go. So I remember we had plans already, like proposed plans mm -hmm. by an architect. Yeah. Uh, just to follow that up, uh, thank you, Shannon. We, we also have been in contact with the state Halloween Flexer from DCD. <coughs> We asked if it would be possible to change it to a design build. They said, put the application in for the design build, and we did. They verbally approved it through the engineering process, but now they want to have, we have to have signed paperwork from them. And that's what we're, we're trying to push them to get the signed paperwork, and then we can get it out to bid. Thank you. 
take, um, so we have to get the event pre-approved by the board of selectmen. Mm -hmm. Then we will get a lockbox from the finance office. They will hold the key. We won't have access to any of the money. We'll sell what we need to do, and then after we can know all the amounts. And then we vote who to yeah, give the money to. Yeah, who to give the money to. Um, I'm working currently on a list of all the nonprofits because we talked about that two meetings ago. So I've been going through all the databases to try to get a document um, together and every local nonprofit. And I gave you the quotes, right? Yes, I gave you the quotes. Okay. And where was that from? Um, that was uh, Frankie Lautiz okay. in Valentown. She's got the um, design in her computer. Okay, perfect. Um, I did bring um, this to multiple people in the town hall. Mm -hmm. The only suggestion they have is maybe um, removing the swag bag title mm -hmm. and just keeping all of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I like the swag bag because it's different, but yeah. you know, um, that was. Yeah, I just fun. know that people were, when I asked them, they'd be more willing to buy it without the wording on it. Really? Yeah. How many said that? Probably six or seven. Um, just because they know it is a swag bag, so then they weren't really too keen on having the word on it because they wanted kind of the highlight to be that, the clock tower and the mm -hmm. logo. What does that mean? Economic? It's an economic development commission of Nico, it's Connecticut. Lovely. Lovely. So I don't know if That was just point of, yeah, yeah, just a point of, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for me personally, I wouldn't, I'd get it either way. Yeah, you wouldn't. Whether you wouldn't. it's a swag bag. Plus the donations, if it's for something that they, you know, well, I'll, it's up to you if you want to pull it off, but it, I don't know, I thought it was pretty uh, different. Different. I mean, the clock tower is pretty lovely. Yeah, yeah the clock tower. tower. You know, maybe the elements, too many, maybe that's that's an aspect too, too much in, in and yeah. take away mm -hmm. from the, the view of the clock. Who drew the clock tower? Did you do that? You put yeah, that that's your right after right? So, yeah. Then, that's yeah. your photo. Oh my god. Yeah. Can I see it again? I just love the that's colors cool. and it's just beautiful. Mm. So yeah, we've yeah. got time to think about it. I guess, you know, I can have her take it off or send her, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, so we do have funds available that we can use for this fiscal year. This fiscal year obviously ends June 30th. Mm -hmm. Um, so we'll just have to go out and get the PO for it yep. by like mm -hmm. Tuesday. Okay. Um, so I don't know, Jane, you want me to take it on that, or do you want to reach out because you've already had? Yeah, you know, I didn't want to take that off. I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of like to leave it, but I'm, I have to think about it. Okay. I guess it, it's it's my design, but it doesn't, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and then I'll ask around and see what other people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely. 12. Did you see this on that? No, I had, I had to make two prototypes. Oh, sorry. Um, I wish I could have had more. Oh, like, so yeah. everybody could have them. And and then, they'll go around and show people. Yeah, <laughs> I'll show some people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Our, we're ordering 110, it'll be $6 a piece. So then that can kind of be in the back of our head of what okay. we want to sell them at. Okay. I recommend when we sell them, we keep what the bags cost us. That way we can continue to reinvest in buying right. them in the future. Right. And then whatever the profit is goes right to not profit. Right.
talked about the last meeting, uh, Shannon had sent out a copy of the Business of the Year nomination form. The little draft copy um, needed obviously some revision, so I hope everyone had a chance to take a look at it. And that's what we will discuss now is the form. Um, Are you familiar with the Business of the Year nomination? No. Okay. okay. So it's something that they do every year. Um, they send out surveys mm -hmm. to residents, people in the town hall take it. It's just you nominate a business that you feel really supportive being the community, and it could be anyone. Um, last year was the <coughs> Mellow Excavation. The year before that was Project 10. Okay, and then, the yeah, <coughs> last year was Coelho Excavation and Paint. Yep. Yeah. And then the year before that was Project 10. <laughs> the year before that was KNH. Yeah. And yeah. then I think Eastern Connecticut Savings Bank is one. I think some food place too. So it's also nonprofits. Yeah, it can be nonprofits, businesses, okay. anything that's within our community that we feel supports it. Mm -hmm. So we want to make copies of these and pass them out to uh, people that we know too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we've never had enough. We've never had enough. It's always been last minute. So. Mm -hmm. can, I, can, I, can I make a suggestion if you don't mind? Could you, this is something that, like you said, you, you never get enough of these coming back in. Is it possible to make a quick video to say this is what it is, and that way the public can get a better view and put it up on, on different social media sites? Mm -hmm. Because what well, we, were the highest that we've gotten back so far? Maybe 12, 14? Mm -hmm. Last minute. Yeah. Well, all I mean, last it's minute exciting stuff. to see the date is October, and we have plenty of time. Yep. Yeah. So. There's just not enough to promote it. It might be mm -hmm. something. Yeah, and that was the question kind of I had as, as I'm looking at the form is, is there anything that's going to change on it? Do we keep the October 10th date or is there another date that we go? Um, obviously, I know there's just regular corrections on here with your information, you have the point yeah. of contact, uh, they send it to economic development. Um, is this an older form? Yes. I was going to say, because the date. Right. Yeah. This, this is 22. Right. That's just fine. It's okay. Yeah. Um, It doesn't have them. to be. I was going to make it into an online survey as well. Mm -hmm. Select yeah, paper and yeah. online. Just yeah. so we have two modes coming in. Yeah, some people I, won't have time necessarily to stop buying it in, but they yeah. can probably scan it. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so if I get any paper versions in, I can go into the survey and fill it out myself, mm -hmm. copy what they put. That way it's in there for data. <coughs> um, the only thing about the date would be when we want to award it. I know we're talking about celebrate field day. Mm -hmm. um, and past has been at the Christmas tree lighting. When did that one? So this one had as October 10th. Which is why it would coincide with Christmas. But yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah, if we had, if we moved it earlier, although I know it's really not a lot of time, now we move celebrate playing to the day of September. Yeah. So it would have to be an That outdoor award vacation in the winter just doesn't work. It's not. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know there's a lot of people that they didn't, they didn't necessarily know what happened, um, but they weren't in the close vicinity, you know, when it got presented. Um, there's a lot of things going on with the Christmas tree lighting, so I don't, I don't know if... It's not conducive. It, and then yeah. you had a little bit with K&H that first year. Well, that was first, in the, the celebrate. celebrate yeah. Yeah. That was Celebrate, and that didn't seem to have a lot of activity. Yeah. It was pretty if you were to do it at Christmas time, I think the best, in my opinion, the best way to do it at Christmas is at the start of the event because everybody's gathering for the start. Mm -hmm. You know, when you do the, yeah. the plunger for the lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So yeah, if we're going to stick with that. I think it would help to just have a bullet point because what that does is it helps somebody who's nominating know that if you know if you get you know, nominated to get selected, then you probably want to you know, make yourself. And we need to maybe on here have a, a list of what you receive if you become business of the year. Oh yeah. Like like a, a presence on the web for a year mm -hmm. and, and maybe make a list of the prizes. Yeah, that's how I know a lot of, a lot of nomination forms that I've looked at online, they usually start off with the what is it, what's its purpose, right. what do you get, when does it get awarded, you know, and all that kind of breakdown. So could could be expanded a little bit. A little more detail. I think, like we were just clarifying, nonprofit. 
Um, not everybody, if they read the form as it is now, they may not realize that it could be a nonprofit. They may think it has to be a mm -hmm. small business or a corporation or something, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Mm -hmm. So that can be clarified. <coughs> Otherwise, the questions are pretty straightforward. I, mean, I don't think we really need to change those number of years. What does the nominee debt participate? Who's convinced committee? Contribute positively to the Plainfield Committee? That's pretty straightforward. Any So Shannon, you have the ability to um, edit this form mm -hmm. to make some of the okay. Yeah. What does everyone think as far as the timeline? Do we want to stick with that? And so the presentation would be at the time of the Christmas tree lighting, and then the October deadline would be reasonable. So, yeah, I think that's really just the only major thing that we needed to discuss was as far as what the date would be and where we would present it. Otherwise, the rest is really just basic cleanup of the form, updating mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And the fr first Friday in December is the 6th. Okay. So if you're planning, I don't know if they're going to have it on the 6th or the 13th. It's usually pretty early. Okay, it's usually the, the first Friday the first Friday. Okay. Yeah. So just put this down tentatively. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can hand out.
under correspondence, or I would consider more or less an existing document um, that we have. Um, June had mentioned we have the bylaws. That is something that exists. Do you have a copy of the bylaws? Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, I think it's probably a good idea, and this should probably be done on an annual basis for all the members to take a look at the bylaws. And if you have suggestions as far as any edits, uh, any revisions that you think should be made to it, um, I think we should plan on reviewing it at an upcoming meeting. And if we as a commission think there's just any revisions to it, we can discuss it. And, and there's a quorum of three in here, right? You have to have three members to the quorum. Yeah, we have to have three. Is that normal in a group that's... Well, your, how large can you get to your group to be? I mean, is it... Seven members. Seven, seven, yeah. Seven, seven members. members. Yeah. It would normally be so four. So normally four. But I think we, you guys are running a short usually. Always. Yeah, so that's so why they probably get three. The bylaw is reduced to three. I'd love to get to seven again. So if you know anybody else okay. wanting to join. Mm -hmm. Should we consider changing that if we do get seven mm -hmm. numbers? I don't yeah. know. Good. Who are the seven? I'm sorry. So Tom, June, Lise, mm -hmm. Carrie, um, Ava. 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 Yeah. That's and it. Amelia. Oh, so we're at five. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. We're happy to have five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, we are. You know, mm -hmm. we've had times when we had one. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> or didn't have any. Fun. That's not a fun <laughs> meeting. <laughs> What's that? That's not a fun meeting. <laughs> one person. So, well, the one thing that I saw on it that I think we should discuss at a future meeting is just when it comes to compensation because that was brought up tonight. The way it reads currently, it says members of the commission may receive no compensation for their services but may be reimbursed for the necessary expenses incurred in the performance of their office and duties. What I think probably should be added to that of if you are serving the position of secretary and actually taking the minutes, because not all secretaries take the minutes. Some people fill that position, right. but they never at any point while they're in that position mm -hmm. take minutes. You, on the other hand, is a different story. Oh. The, second you took, the second you became secretary, you started taking minutes right away. Okay. Um, so I think what it should say in there is a clarification that if you're the secretary taking minutes, then you are eligible for okay. compensation. That's the only exception um, to that. The rest of us can't get any type of compensation. So you, you're thinking we should change that in the bylaws? Yeah, clarify that. Yeah, it's yeah. important. Um, so that was just a thought. Um, but yeah, as long as everyone has a copy of it, I think we should plan on doing that at an upcoming meeting. We'll discuss further okay. if anybody has any suggestions. And then um, then from there, we can take action if we want to okay. change it. Um, so that was the only thing I had. Uh, do you have anything under correspondence? Nothing. Uh, other members have anything? Any questions? Anything? I just want to say, Shannon's doing an amazing job. Everybody's doing an amazing job, but it's always yeah. just going away. But everything that you're doing, all, all the grants that are going, thank you. Yeah. If there's nothing else, you can have to take a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. All second. Okay, motion second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. 728.